2020's Pitching Ninja Platinum Pitch Award for the most dominant pitch of the 2020 season goes to Devin Williams' Airbender. Relievers with 20 or more innings of work. He calls the changeup the Airbender. One of my personal highlights from the 2020 season was nicknaming this pitch the Airbender. It all started as a dispute of whether this was a changeup or a screwball, and I was like, let's go with Airbender. I actually came up with that name in the middle of the night. Yes, I think about pitching in the middle of the night. You can see that name just took off, and the name and Devin's pitch became legendary in one season. I love the fact that at first Devin wasn't sure whether he can call the pitch the Airbender because he thought I had dibs on it, but it's his pitch. I just came up with the name. And what a pitch it is. It even has its own t-shirt. That is sick. Sometimes the airbender is more like a mind bender. You can see these stats from Sarah Langs. Uh, his batting average against on the airbender was a .032 with a major league leading whiff rate of 61%. And you can see there are some pretty darn good pitches on that list. The airbender also led all relief pitchers with 69 swings and misses on that pitch. Very nice. I'd like to thank my friend Mike Fisher from Codify for pointing out that stat. Before we get into some video on the airbender, I'm going to show you basically what is behind the pitch. I DM'd Devin during the season, and he told me to basically take something like that clean fuego, which is flat on one side, and when you throw it, make sure it's coming off your hand, kind of like a flying saucer. He tries to get extreme side spin with his fingers, and he's less concerned about where he holds the ball. So it's less about the grip and more about the release and pronation. As you can see here, this is what the airbender looks like coming out of hand, and it is filthy. You can see almost pure side spin on it, and he is imparting a ton of spin on the ball. In fact, the airbender has an average spin rate of over 2,800, which is better than most pitcher's sliders. You can see here, he matches up really well with Adam Adovino's slider, both in terms of velo and spin rate. Thanks to David Adler for pointing that out. So if you're visualizing the airbender, think of it as a lefty Adam Adovino slider coming at you. It makes it a real unicorn pitch because most changeups have a way lower spin rate than a slider or a curveball. Here is Devin Williams' airbender matched up with an Adam Adovino slider, both from target field. Um, I pulled out the slider and flipped it, and you can see how they track really, really well. That is how filthy Devin Williams' airbender is. Basically like a left-handed Adam Adovino slider. Here are some more fun stats on the airbender. You can see Devin gave up two hits and 113 swings on the airbender. That is a sub 2% hit rate. And here are some more crazy stats. Williams had more than six times more Ks than hits for the season and had a .032 batting average against on the airbender. And this was the lowest on a single pitch since 2010. He also struck out nearly two batters an inning. And here is a good example of why. Um, I love this at bat versus Buxton. You can see the first airbender here was one of the filthiest of the season. It starts out kind of inner third and ends up way inside on Buxton, almost making him fall down on that swing. Here's the airbender in slow motion, and you see how that pitch just absolutely eats him up. You commit to the swing and then realize it's basically like a left-handed slider coming at you. The pitch after that was also an airbender, and Buxton's like, I don't know what to do here. I can't hit that pitch. Please, please don't throw it again. So what does Williams do? He actually throws 98 dotted on the corner to get Buxton. Filthy at bat. Now this Devin Williams airbender had a spin rate of over 3,000. You'll see the movement of this pitch. It is absolutely unhittable. Looks like a fastball and then just dives to the dirt. Here it is in slow motion. You can see that release and the spin he puts on it and that ball disappears. You know what? Enough of me talking about the airbender. Let's just go through a bunch of them from the season and enjoy.